So with a pounding puff and a heaving huff, Hero was on the tracks, following Thomas to steam away from Spencer. Hero steamed down the track, rattling and clattering. His pistons pumped and his boiler bubbled. Well done, Hero! Thank you, Thomas! <laughs> then there was trouble. Spencer snaked onto the tracks behind Thomas. Found you, Thomas. Spencer! Thomas's wheels whirred like the wind. You won't get away from me this time. Hero chuffed as fast as he could. He wanted to wish away from Spencer. Then Spencer saw Hero and gasped. Spencer had never seen an engine as strange as Hero before. Who are you? Hero! Thomas! That engine can't even puff properly. Hero's engine had started to clatter and clunk. His steam dome shook and his cylinders creaked. Hero was worried. Without the last engine part, Hero could only sputter and splutter. Hero's new lamp broke loose and hit Spencer. Now Hero's engine started to judder and jitter. Parts fell off. They clanged and they banged onto the track. No! Don't worry, Hero! You can do it! Thomas, help me! But the harder Hero huffed, the worse he wobbled. Keep puffing, Hero! More parts splattered and scattered from Hero's engine. Thomas! You can do it, Hero! I don't think he can. Hero knew Spencer was right. The master of the railway was once more a heap of scrap. Hero couldn't puff on. Is this what you've been doing, Thomas? Making a heap of scrap for the smelter's yard? Because that's the only thing that this engine's good for. Sir Topham Hatt will make sure of that. Thomas felt terrible. He had worked